This is going to be fun to drive. Now, is this the most practical thing uh, people do? No, not usually for a Ranger, but honestly, it's going to be the coolest Ranger out there. Hey guys, Jason, Fat Fender Garage, uh, Gilbert, Arizona, and we got our 2005 Ranger here. It's actually been very difficult, so we'll kind of give you a little update and kind of catch you up to speed where we're at. So we got this Ford Ranger uh, maybe five months ago, and the guy wants to put the Ford Raptor motor in here, the 3.5 EcoBoost out of the 1819 Ford Raptor. And so we thought, looks like there's enough room, we could probably do it. And man, this was a tight fit, almost impossible. But a lot of thinking, a lot of planning, we've been able to get the motor. So we got the motor in, the problem was is we couldn't actually leave the turbos on the side of the motor where they come from the factory. There's just not enough room. We're running into the frame, the upper control arms, we're running into steering issues, running into EVAP issues over here. And so it just turned out to be problematic. So what we did was pulled those turbos off, relocated them. And you can see right down in here, these turbos have been moved and we've had to make new turbo manifolds coming off the motor in order for us to tie all this in. So we've had to design all those, get them all cut out and made and slowly get this put back together. We have like clearances of like a quarter inch around a lot of this stuff, but it's tight, but we got it in. So then we built a custom intercooler. We got a nice core and we've routed it down and around and we've got coming up right here in the front. If you come take a look, You've got the intercooler right here and it's gonna actually keep this nice and cool and he'll be able to have a ton of excitement with this once we get it done. So we're about to done where we've got the radiator hoses, I think mostly done. We've got um, just a couple little loose ends and then we're gonna be ready to kind of, you know, connect all the, the water ports and everything for uh, cooling the turbos down. And that's it. We're gonna be down to um, running the AC lines, get those tidied up and then we're off to electrical. And we'll kick it over to those guys and have them start wiring this up. And so we'll get all the fluids in it. So hopefully once we get the electrical done, uh, it won't be too much of a problem. So uh, this is a 3.5 EcoBoost with a 10 speed automatic transmission in a 2005 Ford Ranger, which is pretty cool. I don't know if it's been done, if anybody has, but I would like some information if you have, because there's obviously a lot that we're learning through this process. Uh, the guys are doing a really good job and I, I think we got it. We're pretty much, you know, home free at this point. A lot of people have asked like, does it fit right? Does it fit well? What are the issues? You know, the 10 speed automatic transmission actually fit. We didn't have to cut any of the floor. It barely fit in here. We couldn't go lower because of the control arms and we really couldn't come higher because of the transmission tunnel, but it actually fit. We've got a new drive shaft in here. We've got fuel pumps we changed out. So we left the original fuel pump in the tank and all that stuff pulled it out, inserted a new fuel pump in there, uh, brand new air motive heavy duty fuel pump, uh, replaced that and we're back in business. So hopefully the gauge and all that kind of stuff will work fine. So we do have to connect the shift linkage. And so what we've done is we've purchased uh, the Ford truck shift linkage for the Raptor. And then since this is a uh, cable driven, we're hoping to make a few adjustments and get that connected up. So he still has a column shift on here for his automatic transmission. We got a few little sensors to tie in from the original motor that we'll have to tie in for uh, oil pressure. But aside from that, I think we're gonna be pretty much golden. There's no tack on the speedometer, so we don't have to worry about what that's doing. Uh, he'll know he's got a lot of RPMs because this thing's gonna really be screaming. Uh, we've got 389 gears in this thing, so it's gonna be ready to go. Luckily, it's lighter weight. It's got uh, big tires on it and it's got a lot of power. So. We came to a lot of this conclusion on basically taking the original truck that we have. I actually own a Raptor and it's a 2019 and we checked the weight, how much power it had, we, the 10 speed automatic transmission, the gears it had in it and tried to come up with something that uh, would, would work for this. This is several thousand pounds lighter than that truck and uh, that truck, uh, the Raptors have about a 411 gear. So we went with the 389 gear on here. We do have tall, big tires on, it's lighter, but I think this thing's gonna just really get down the road quickly. The 10 speed will obviously, you know, with the four overdrive gears will actually help it uh, handle the, the 389 gears just fine. So he'll still get good fuel economy out of this thing, but at the same time, it's gonna get up and go. And so we're really excited about this. This is gonna be fun to drive. now. Is this the most practical thing uh, people do? No, not usually for a Ranger, but honestly, it's gonna be the coolest Ranger out there. And I'm really excited about it. So we've beefed up the, the radiator. We're able to find 
um, additional radiators that will fit right in here. And you can see it's tight. Like, I mean, we don't have a lot of room for a lot of extra. We're gonna have to relocate the battery. So we'll have battery posts here, relocate that in the back. We've had a clearance, a few other little things. So, but we're, we're really close and I'm, I'm hoping uh, to get this into wiring department next week. And from there, I'm hoping a couple weeks and they've got this thing wired up and we're ready to go test drive this. So it's a lot of work. It is tight, it's super cool. And at the end of the day, it can be done and it will be done. And uh, if it's something you're looking to do, it's probably not a, a DIY in your home garage, uh, try to pull this off. This is uh, much more complicated than that. And it, you definitely need to take it to a shop and have you know someone help you figure it out. If you're super good with fabrication, maybe you might be able to do it. And if you're super good with electrical wiring, maybe you might be able to do that. So, uh, but just getting this in here and having it fit, um, I think the guys did a pretty good job, but um, it's, it's gonna be cool. So stay tuned. The next video hopefully is us uh, getting a lot of the electrical wiring done. And uh, then probably the video after that, we're gonna turn the key. We're gonna let you guys hear this thing. And then we'll have to go through the tuning process and then hopefully just get this done and get it back to the guy because I didn't know this was his only vehicle when he gave it to us. And we really need to get this done and get it back to him so he's got something to drive. But what a heck of a driver. So I'm really excited for him. Uh, hang tight, Joe. We're working really hard to get it done. And uh, stay tuned, thanks.